gab and, and all these other, and, and anything that that goes against the large corporate uh, big uh, big uh, tech uh, corporation like like Twitter, if they go against the people, the, the people on the left will sit back and try to get it shut down. And if they get it shut down, when he switches over to that, I will say, you know what? I won't say anything at all. Not even hashtag MAGA. You won't even say, I won't even say that every morning. This is this how you want to play. Well, I don't even have one. I'd post pictures of bunny rabbits every morning. If that's the, if that, I wouldn't even say MAGA anymore at that point. I would just put, I, I would post a picture of, of, of of a rabbit every morning, just, just just something cute and fuzzy. That's it. 8 a.m. Cute and fuzzy time. That's what I would do. But here's the thing: these people, Turning Point USA, Candace Owens, Brandon Tatum, Anthony Brown, Logan, all these shines, want to sit back and others. But I'm going to focus on Turning Point USA because I feel like somebody like Turning Point USA. That's that teacher in that video. The teacher in the video and the uh, and the uh, the lady that's uh, that's fighting the guys that's that's Trump right there and that and and, and the, you know and that the, the the teacher is just cheering this woman on while she's doing something that's totally ineffectual and and doesn't make any sense at all and that's a Trump fan that's a Trump fan to me. That will not call him out when he does stupid stuff like get on Twitter and just sit back and tweet all goddamn day. And 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 get on Twitter and and see what was it the seventy or whatever that was the anniversary put out the anniversary of uh, of China's dictator. All the while he's killing people, but nobody says anything about that. They don't call him out. And say hey man, uh, yeah, so you, you probably shouldn't have done that, or you probably should stop doing this. It's like a child before. What kind of child will you create when you never push push back on what that child does is doing? If that child is doing something that don't make that doesn't make any sense, make sure that you call that kid out. Make sure that you call your politician out when he or she does something dumb. We want to call out the people on uh, uh, Elizabeth Warren. People on the, uh, on the left, they do the same thing. You're doing the exact same thing they do. As much as people on the left holler about racism and, and white privilege and blah, 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 the most, the, the much as they holler about that crap, they sit back and let Elizabeth Warren claim Native American ancestry and get a job because of it, edging out or beating out somebody else that probably is more deserving of it. And they're okay with it. They'll explain it away. Ralph Northam, they explain it away. Joe Biden doing exactly what they're accusing Trump of doing, they explain it away. No biggie. Those are fans of, 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 of a party, of a politician. Those are fans. They never, that fan can do nothing wrong. Bernie Sanders, he hollers about uh, uh, the rich and it's unfair and blah, blah, blah. He's all, he's never had a job in his freaking life. Though he was on a communist commune and got kicked off for not producing. Now he's a multimillionaire, and you know what? Bernie Sanders fans what are sitting there uh, um, going to bat and making excuses for his wealth while they're freaking struggling. They're fans. So, I mean, there's things to be called out on both sides. When, they, when that happened in the Rose Garden with Sebastian Gorka and that... And that um, CNN person, and they were talking about let's take it outside and all this other stuff. But once again, there, if, you know, people want to talk about calling people savages. That's a savage right there. That's a savage. And you got that shine, Brandon Tatum, sitting there squaring up and, and acting like he's ready to be the bodyguard and all this other crap. Get the hell out of here. This shine, Candace Owens, another shine. Candace Owens is another shot. Black people don't have to be. Black people this. We are the people and this and that. Blah, blah, blah. First man I find got to be white. Of course. I don't have a problem with the fact that she's with a white man. But I don't like when people sit back and talk about black issues and black people and us black people this and that. And then they can't find a black person that they actually want to be with. And let's be honest here. Uh, Tree of Logic exposed it. Every, every man she's ever had is white. She's doing, she's a freaking grifter. And she's making a good job of it too. 
He's interviewing all kind of people. I'm like, damn, what's my channel? But it is what it is. <laughs> the thing is, the fact of the matter is, she voted for Bernie Sanders last election. And once again, these Republicans, what they do, they're so worried about what other people think that they'll sit back and hold up a black person and say that, and really all they're doing is saying, see, our side isn't racist because, you see, look, we got this, we got this little black girl. When she came on, when she uh, got on YouTube with that first video, she was saying nothing different than anybody else, than any of these other people, black or white or Hispanic, that had these conservative ideas. But Turning Point USA, the plantation, decided to go ahead and, and get her and put her up because, once again, she's a black person saying what we're thinking too, is a, is a Republican thought on that. So, like I said, these people are shined to sit back and 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 and, and sit back and, and just go and totally go for Trump and everything that he does that's stupid. You're not like I said, I'm on board. The whole illegal immigration thing, I'm on board. Of course we he's not cutting spending. Why don't you say something about that? But no, they won't call him out on that. About all the freaking spending that's been done by both parties, but Republicans and conservatives are supposed to be the people that are that are that are going to go against spending, and they're the ones, some of the biggest goddamn spinners out there. But that's okay because it's our side doing it. But when the Repu when the Democrats get over there, then oh, when the Democrats start spending, oh, now we're deficit hogs. We got to lower this deficit after you didn't freaking ran it up. So once again, it's just one of those things. Stop call, stop being fans of Trump. And call him out. He could be, you know what? He actually could be a big president, a big, uh, a, a, a good or uh, really, really good president, policymaker, whatever. If he would just listen to criticism, you got to criticize him. Look what he did with Ann Coulter. He blocked her on Twitter, or not, or unfollowed her on Twitter after she kept on um, calling him out on the fact that that he's not building a wall. So I, he doesn't even want criticism. He doesn't want to be better. But like I said, you got these you got the fans that will never that will never call him out on his freaking bull crap. And like I said, people like Turning Point USA and a lot of these other a lot of these other people that are pro pro MAGA and all this other crap, they just wanna sit they're, they're they're not gonna call him out on his freaking bull crap. They have to. To make him a better person or make him a better president. Call him out. Anyway, that's my thoughts on that. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Let me go ahead and put a little extra on this one. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say I'm one of those people that I'm going to tell you. I'm not going to sit back and turn a blind eye to the amount of racism that's still that's on the right also. And I'm not going to be okay with the crap either. I go on policy. I don't really care. Quality of opportunity instead of equality of outcome. That's what I'm about. So a lot of my policies or the, the positions that I take, you know, it doesn't ma it, it, it does not matter at all that it doesn't matter at all to me that it just happens to be the same positions on some things that some of these people that are obviously racist on the freaking right or or, or uh, that they have. Pro Second Amendment, anti-abortion, it is what it is. Some, some stuff like that. A lot of those people are like that. But I'm not going to sit back and act like that they're that that on this side that I'm just somehow safe. That I don't think if that if this was an all-out war, that I'm sitting here battling, we're fighting on the same side. That when the enemy's defeated, you won't turn the freaking gun and shoot me too. CJ, what's that? CJ Pearson, that young dude. Over there talking about it. he doesn't that, that white nationalism is what is he says something to the effect that white nationalism isn't bad and this and that. I say, man, look here, black, look here, the young black. <laughs> you know, it is you know when you start when you start getting so into the movement that you start taking on some of the bad crap in it too. There's a problem, bro. It is what it is. 
So I'm not going to sit back and turn a blind eye to stuff like that. I mean, like I said, once again, it's about being, these people about being fans. Anthony Bryan Logan, what did he say? The KKK isn't bad. They used to bring toys. What did he say? <laughs> they used to bring toys to his grandmother. That's what his grandmother told me. Get the hell out of here, Negro. I don't want to hear that crap. Oh, the KKK. Oh, no, they're not that bad. They're, they're not. They're not bad. So like I said, I mean, I, I'm, I pretty much, I'm a, I'm going to say I'm a pretty much an independent at this point because I'm not going to sit back and act like this other, that this right side has it all figured out either, uh, 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 also, that's for sure. So once again, comment, like, share, subscribe, we'll see you next time.